defining. Yeah, this is crunch time. Not the greatest first shot here from Gareth Potts. Okay, made the plant, not a problem, but the yellow he played has gone away from the pocket and into a horrible position. This is not a nice layout, especially when you consider what's just happened to him. That's a lovely shot, though. Oh, that's a really good shot. He may not have known exactly where the cue ball was going to go. He, he got the double kiss, and he's actually landed really nicely. Normally, the double kiss in that situation is, is not what you want because the yellow will stay on the cushion and doesn't come out. But this time, it has come out. It's come out in a pretty handy place as well. So the yellow he's now having to cue over becomes his biggest problem ball, as well as the eight ball. How does he get to that part of the table in a couple of shots' time? This is where you do need to be very, very precise. He's going to have to be, whatever he plays in a couple of shots' time, he's going to be moving the cue ball a decent distance and hasn't got much margin of error. It looks to me, if he can get the cue ball somewhere near the right centre pocket for his last yellow, he can drop that in and then if the eight ball probably goes in the right centre as well. It would be a tough shot. You could play for it in the corner as well. But you can see the red there. You look, he's lining it up now. There is just no margin of error for this to go wrong. Really has to judge this well. Whole frame is on this shot. He looks short to me. Looks short. He is short. And he knows if this shot doesn't come off, and it's a very tough one, could be his last shot in the tournament. Oh, it does drop. Great now pot off the cushion, but this is... Where does this eight ball go? Does it go to that middle? He's having a good little look. Goes to the bottom corner. It's very thin, and it's very tight into the middle. Uh, it does go, but it's a horrible shot. Yeah, this is this is awful. This for 6-5. It's there. Oh, what a pot from Gareth Potts. Whew, those two last shots in that frame were a little bit naughty. Wow, that <laughs> Chris Belling has a wry smile.